With the recent release of Steam Workshop support for the MCC, I've been downloading Halo mods like crazy. So I've decided to showcase some of the more terrifying Halo mods that I've found. From horde modes to nightmare field multiplayer maps, these are the scariest Halo mods on Steam. For this showcase, each mod I show will get progressively scary. Again, this is just my opinion, so let me know what you think is the scariest. Starting off, we have Halo Assassin Edition. This mod adds the Assassin Skull from Halo 2 into Combat Evolved, basically giving every enemy active camo. Giving each enemy invisibility really spices up the gameplay a little bit, makes hunters feel even more menacing. Unlike grunts who are just annoying, just showing up out of thin air. I found jackals to be the worst with their dang pesky shields. This mod is a nice extra challenge, even if you can kind of see the shimmer of Halo CE's invisibility. Regardless, I still ran into a few enemies I didn't expect. Some encounters became quite humorous to me. It's a giga ghost! And he, he's riding a ghost! Ah, this is nice. Relaxing at the beach. Sun's out, bun's out. Ain't that right, Marines? Oorah. Yeah, great googly moogly. The Covenant is haunting this beach, not again. Of course, the real horror isn't until you discover the flood. So naturally, I went straight to the best level in the series, the library. Isn't there supposed to be a welcome party here? Where'd everybody go? Bingo? Oh jeez, I found him. Locked inside a familiar Forerunner facility, contamination will test your courage as the Flood hunts for their next victim. How long will you be able to survive? The Flood are relentless and will come at you from all directions. Use all the weapons at your disposal to fight them off. But it's a losing battle. Try not to panic. There's no way out. Contamination combines the iconic first encounter of the FUD with Halo 3's amazing sandbox. I really love the atmosphere of Contamination, with dim lighting and gruesome FUD tentacles and spores kind of growing up everywhere around the map. This classic room is perfect for FUD firefight. Actually, this mod felt closer to Call of Duty Zombies, I found myself doing circles just like I would back in Black Ops. There's even a hidden song you can find. Three skulls are hidden around the room, and if you shoot them, a secret song plays. It took me quite a while to find where these skulls were located. And for such a small room, I'm surprised it took me as long as it did. The first skull I hear is up here on this column, kind of up in the ceiling. Now at first I was looking around all the flood goop here in the middle of the map, and I finally found it up here next to this spore. This last one was very tricky to find. And if the skulls didn't burst into confetti when you shoot them, I don't think I would have found this one. But up on the main floor in a corner, the, the skull is actually buried kind of under the map. And there you go, once you shoot all three skulls, an easter egg song plays. There is some extra steps that you gotta do to download the song for it to work. And I actually couldn't get the song to play for myself, so... So you'll have to try this and play it for yourself to find out what it is. Infection. Everybody's favorite custom game mode. Infection can be kind of slow-paced at first, especially when it's just two starting alpha zombies. So let's crank this zombie mode up to 11 with Unearthed Night. With your squad of marines, survive the black of night in this fan-favorite firefight map from Halo Reach. Watch your back as unrelenting waves of zombies hunt you down. And I'm not using unrelenting lightly. That is not an exaggeration, because these zombies will be chasing after you. Full sprint. If you want action-packed zombies, this is the mod for you. They are agile. The infected Spartans are fast, deadly, and lurking around every corner. These zombies really feel like if the Flood got a hold of the Spartan suits. They will stop at nothing to devour your flesh. At least they feel more like the Spartans from the books. This guy certainly won't be hunting you. 
It's a big map, so stay on your toes. Watch your back and keep moving. Of course, if you get overwhelmed, there is a room full of turrets to bunker down in. I imagine this would be great with a squad of friends just holding out in the back of the map. There's also a rocket hog parked out in the garage. Use it to just mow straight through the zombies, left and right. If you can drive, that is. Now, a good time to mention I don't have a Warthog license. I also love the creative use of Leech's Inheritor Helmet. I never realized how perfect it is for infection. Really brings that extra fear factor to a fan favorite game mode. Are you lost? Surely you didn't mean to be here. Welcome to the Dark Forest, home of the zombie captain. You, you shouldn't be here. It's, it's, it's not safe at night. Your only choice now is to venture through the towering trees. As you move through the forest, be careful. Every sound you make could be your last. You'll have to move around as quietly as possible if you want to survive. The zombie captain is listening, waiting for you to make a mistake. Gunshots. Footsteps. Even your own breathing will alert him. Or maybe it's just me walking into him. Jeez. Hide behind a tree if you can. Use the environment to your advantage to try and outsmart it. At first, I thought this was just a spooky multiplayer map. I had no idea the monstrosity that was hunting me. And they multiply? This mod is basically Slenderman meets Halo, and I love how terrifying this concept is. You're surrounded in a pitch black forest, and all you can really hear is the unsettling noises of the captain hunting you down, looking for his next meal. Now, if you download this map, it's probably way darker than what you're seeing. I've made this video much brighter, so it's just not a black screen that you're staring at. Try playing this with your buddies. I imagine this would be perfect to, to terrify your best friends. Just imagine, loading up Capture the Flag. Just hear the screams of your best friends amongst the tree line. If you want to test your survival skills, this is the mod for you. Just be warned, it's not for the faint of heart. I hope you enjoyed this mod showcase. Let me know what you thought was the most terrifying in the comments below. Like this video if you were spooked. Check out more amazing mods that I've played here. Like this video where I explore a fully custom ODST mission. I've been Mr. T Swank. I'll see you in the next video. Swanks for watching.